It's not a shamrock, but rather a harp that's the true symbol of Ireland. Its rich and relaxing sound will again be enjoyed by festgoers attending the world's largest celebration of Irish Celtic music and culture beginning later this week in Milwaukee. Amanda Becker introduces a harpist whose music and talents are synonymous with Milwaukee's Irish Fest. It is the symbol of Irish culture. Mary Ann Miller is the harpist bringing the symbolic sound of Irish music to Milwaukee's Irish Festival year after year. I start out with uh, Alan Stavell medley of uh, the Winds of Celtia. Those songs I played over in Ireland right on the ocean. The coolest thing ever is to hear wind going through the strings of a harp. From the Celtic Sea to Lake Michigan, Miller has played her harp for thousands of people. In the beginning, it was so much excitement and anticipation because no one knew what to expect. And she's the only entertainer to play at every Irish Fest since the very beginning. 43 years ago. I always say I, I was not only there at uh, the inception of Irish Fest, I was there at the conception of Irish Fest. I've been involved as a volunteer from the beginning. Barry Stapleton is now in charge of booking entertainment for the fest, and he runs the Ward Irish Festival Archives. Located right here in Milwaukee, it's one of the largest public collections of Irish music in America. So the joke at the time when Ed Ward started the festival was he started the festival so Blarney would have a place to play in August. <laughs> Blarney is an Irish folk band formed in Milwaukee around the same time Mary Ann started performing her harp. This video shows them playing at Irish Fest in 2011. Mary Ann often played with Blarney at local shows throughout the 70s, 80s, and 90s. As they were having dinner, they were sitting there planning Irish Fest. So John Teston, one of the original members, came up on my stage and he said, Mary Ann, guess what? Ed's down there planning an Irish Fest, you know, kind of like Festa Italiana. And I stopped playing and I said, sure he is. Because at that time, you didn't think there were enough Irish people in Milwaukee to even warrant an, a big Irish fest. And even me, with my vivid imagination, I couldn't imagine that. Irish Americans didn't have a big presence in Milwaukee in the 70s, but that wasn't the case in Marianne's life. Why have you always been fascinated with Irish culture? My mom used to sing Irish lullabies to me when I was little, and one of my greatest treasures is my brother knew how much I loved Ireland even when I was in first grade. So he gave me a little 45 record Darby O'Gillan, The Little People. Add that to her other mementos saved over the years. This was 1983 and he said, Mary Ann, do you know how many men are carrying around your picture in their wallet? And I said, what are you talking about? <laughs> he pulled this out and here I was on the Milwaukee bus pass. I was going to bring a few pictures and I found this treasure trove. She's played the harp for soundtracks in Irish movies and open for artists like Donny Osmond. I was the dinner music before he performed and he was a very nice person. He put on a great show. Like Irish step dance and St. Patrick's Day, the harp is a sound rooted deep in Irish culture and in Mary Ann's life. But she didn't grow up playing. It was her first stay in Dublin as an adult that she put her finger to the strings. I started dating an Irish doctor and he asked me to go to this harp concert by, given by Alan Stavell, who is the most famous Celtic harpist in the world. And he inspired me so much that night that I called back home in Wisconsin, got my mom out of bed, and I said, Mom, I'm giving up my acting career. I'm going to be an Irish harpist. At the top of her memories, playing harp on both sides of the pond are her Irish Fest shows throughout the years. The first Irish Fest, it was so phenomenal. It was 
just the excitement in the air. And there were many street performers at the time. They'd just pop up. A lot has changed since that first Irish Fest. Blarney no longer takes the stage. It's grown a lot bigger, of course. But Marianne still does. It's a way for her to preserve the Irish and Irish American culture here in Milwaukee. She's pretty good at passing that on uh, to younger generations. As long as Marianne is playing, you'll see her at Irish Fest. I am so proud and so honored to be a part of this tradition and to be, have been there since the beginning.